Welcome to American Accent Training. This book and CD set is designed to get you started on your American accent. We'll follow the book and go through the 13 lessons and all the exercises step by step. Everything is explained and a complete answer key may be found in the back of the text. Exercise 5-5. Liaise the L's. As you work with the following exercise, here are two points you should keep in mind. When a word ends with an L sound, either A, connect it to the next word if you can, or B, add a slight schwa for an exaggerated L sound. For example, A, enjoyable as, B, possible. Exercise 5-6, Finding L Sounds. Pause the CD and find and mark all the L sounds in the familiar paragraph below. The first one is marked for you. There are 17 of them. Five are silent. Afterwards, check the answer key beginning on page 193. Exercise 5-7, Silent L's. Once you've found all the L sounds, the good news is that very often you don't even have to pronounce them. Read the following list of words after me. 1. Would. Could. Should. 2. Chalk. Talk. Walk. 3. Calm. Palm. Psalm. 4. Already. Alright. Almond. 5. Although. Almost. Always. 6. Salmon. Alms. Albany. 7. Folk. Cock. Polka. Exercise 5-8. Hold your tongue. You and I are going to read with our tongues firmly held at the roofs of our mouths. If you want, hold a clean dime there with the tongue's tip. The dime will let you know when you've dropped your tongue, because it'll fall out. Do not use candy. It'll hold itself there since wet candy's sticky. If you prefer, you can read with your tongue between your teeth instead of the standard behind the teeth position and use a small mirror. Remember that with this technique, you can actually see your tongue disappear as you hear your L sounds drop off. It's going to sound ridiculous, of course, and nobody would ever intentionally sound like this, but no one will hear you practice. You don't want to sound like this. Force your tongue to make all the various vowels in spite of its position. Let's go. Leave a little for Lola. Exercise 5-9. Little Lola. Now that we've done this, instead of L being a hard letter to pronounce, it's the easiest one because the tongue is stuck in that position. Pause the CD to practice the reading on your own, again with your tongue stuck to the top of your mouth. Read the paragraph after me with your tongue in the normal position. Use good, strong intonation. Follow my lead as I start dropping H's here. Little Lola felt left out in life. She told herself that luck controlled her, and she truly believed that only by loyally following an exalted leader could she be delivered from her solitude. Unfortunately, she learned a little late that her life was her own to deal with. When she realized it, she was already eligible for Social Security. And she had lent her lifelong earnings to a low life in Long Beach. She lay on her linoleum and slid along the floor in anguish. A little later, she leapt up and laughed. She no longer longed for a leader to tell her how to live her life. Little Lola was finally all well. Exercise 510. Dull versus dull. Repeat after me. Laid. Ladle. Lay dull. To hear the difference between dull and dull, contrast the sentences. Don't lay dull tiles and don't ladle tiles. 
Lay dull. Ladle. Exercise 511, Final L Practice. Repeat the following lists. Bull, pull, wool, full, schultz, toll, yol, ball, hall, hauled, paul, wall, fall, shawl, tall, vault, y'all, call, bowel, howl, howled, powell, foul, towel, vowel, yowl, cowl, bell, hell, held, pell, well, fell, shell, tell, velt, yell, kelly, bail, hail, hailed, pale, whale, fail, shale, tail, veil, yale, kale, bowl, hole, hold, pole, hole, full, shoal, toll, vole, cold, beal, heel, healed, peel, wheel, feel, shiel, teal, veal, yield, keel, bottle, huddle, hurdle, poodle, wheedle, fetal, shuttle, turtle, vital, yodel, coddle. Exercise 512, 30 little turtles in a bottle of bottled water. Repeat the following paragraph focusing on the consonant plus schwa L combinations. 30 little turtles in a bottle of bottled water. A bottle of bottled water held 30 little turtles. It didn't matter that each turtle had to rattle a metal ladle in order to get a little bit of noodles. A total turtle delicacy. The problem was that there were many turtle battles for the less the noodles and noodles. The littlest turtles always lost because every time they thought about grappling with the Hagler turtles, their little turtle minds boggled and they only caught a little bit of noodles. Exercise 513, speed reading. We've already practiced strong intonation, so now we'll just pick up the speed. First, I'm going to read our familiar paragraph as fast as I can. Subsequently, you'll practice on your own, and then we'll go over it together, sentence by sentence, to let you practice reading very fast right after me. By then, you'll have more or less mastered the idea, so record yourself reading really fast and with very strong intonation. Listen back to see if you sound more fluent. Listen as I read. Hello, my name is Anne. I'm taking American accent training. There's a lot to learn, but I hope to make it as enjoyable as possible. I should pick up on the American intonation pattern pretty easily, although the only way to get it is to practice all the time. I use the up and down or peaks and valleys intonation more than I used to. I've been paying attention to pitch, too. It's like walking down a staircase. I've been talking to a lot of Americans lately, and they tell me that I'm easier to understand. Anyway, I could go on and on, but the important thing is to listen well and sound good. Well, what do you think? Do I? Pause the CD and practice speed reading on your own five times. Repeat each sentence after me. Hello, my name is Anne. I'm taking American accent training. There's a lot to learn, but I hope to make it as enjoyable as possible. I should pick up on the American intonation pattern pretty easily, although the only way to get it is to practice all the time. I use the up and down or peaks and valleys intonation more than I used to. I've been paying attention to pitch, too. It's like walking down a staircase. I've been talking to a lot of Americans lately, and they tell me that I'm easier to understand. Anyway, I could go on and on, but the important thing is to listen well and sound good. Well, what do you think? Do I? Record yourself speed reading with strong intonation. Exercise 514, Tandem Reading. The last reading that I'd like you to do is one along with me. Up to now, I've read first, and you've repeated in the pause that followed. Now, however, I'd like you to read along at exactly the same time that I read, so that we sound like one person reading. Hello, Hello. my name I'm is Anne. Anne. I'm, I'm taking American, American accent, accent training. training. Read along with me. 
Hello, my name is Anne. I'm taking American accent training. There's a lot to learn, but I hope to make it as enjoyable as possible. I should pick up on the American intonation pattern pretty easily, although the only way to get it is to practice all the time. I use the up and down or peaks and valleys intonation more than I used to. I've been paying attention to pitch, too. It's like walking down a staircase. I've been talking to a lot of Americans lately, and they tell me that I'm easier to understand. Anyway, I could go on and on, but the important thing is to listen well and sound good. Well, what do you think? Do I? Voice quality. In the next chapter, we'll be working on a sound that's produced deep in the throat, the American R. In chapter 3, we studied two tense vowels, a and a, ah, and the completely neutral schwa, a. Uh. The a ah sound has a tendency to sound a little nasal all on its own, eh. And when other vowels are nasalized as well, it puts your whole voice in the wrong place. This is an opportune moment, then, to go into the quality of your voice. In my observation, when people speak a foreign language, they tense up their throat so their whole communication style sounds forced, pinched, strained, artificial, or nasal. The foreign speaker's voice is also generally higher pitched than would be considered desirable. To practice the difference between high pitch and lower pitch, work on uh-oh. In addition to pitch, this exercise will let you discover the difference between a tinny nasal sound and a deep, rich, mellifluous basso profundo tone. The tilde is used to indicate a nasal sound. Exercise 515, shifting your voice position. Pinch your nose closed and say, mm. You should feel a high vibration in your nasal passages as well as in your fingers. Now, continue holding your nose and completely relax your throat. Allow an ah sound to flow from deep in your chest. Ah. There should be no vibration in your nose at all. Go back and forth several times. Eh. Ah. Eh. Ah. Next, we practice flowing from one position to the other so that you can feel exactly when it changes from a nasal sound to a deep, rich schwa. Remember how it was imitating a man's voice when you were little? Do that, pinch your nose, and repeat after me. Ah. Here we'll practice the same progression, but we'll stick with the same sound, ah. ah. As you'll see in chapter 12, there are three nasal consonants, M, N, and N, G. These have non-nasal counterparts, M, B, N, D, N, G. We're going to practice totally denasalizing your voice for a moment, which means turning the nasals into the other consonants. We'll read the same sentence three times. The first will be quite nasal. The second will sound like you have a cold. The third will have appropriate nasal consonants, but denasalized vowels. Repeat after me. Mary might need money. Barry bite deed buddy. Mary might need money. Now that you've moved your voice out of your nose and down into your diaphragm, let's apply it. A lot of long hot walks in the garden. John was not sorry when the boss called off the walks in the garden. Obviously to him, it was awfully hot, and the walks were far too long. He had not thought that walking would have caught on the way it did, and he fought the policy from the onset. Chapter 6, The American R. American English today, although continually changing, is made up of the sounds of the various people who've come to settle here from many countries. All of them have put in their linguistic two cents, the end result being that the easiest way to pronounce things has almost always been adopted as the most American. R is an exception, along with L and the sounds of A and TH, and is one of the most troublesome sounds for people to acquire. Not only is it difficult for adults learning the language, but also for American children who pronounce it like a W or skip over it altogether and only pick it up after they've learned all the other sounds. 
Exercise 6-1, our location practice. Repeat after me. G, gr, Greek, green, grass, grow, crow, cor, cork, coral, cur, curl, girl, gorilla, her, erg, error, mirror, were, war, gore, wrong, ringer, church, pearl. While you're perfecting your R, you might want to rush to it and in doing so neglect the preceding vowel. There are certain vowels that you can neglect, but there are others that demand their full sound. We're going to practice the ones that require you to keep that clear sound before you add an R. Exercise 6-2, double vowel sounds with R. Refer to the subsequent lists of sounds and words as you work through each of the directions that follow them. Repeat each sound, first the vowel and then the er, and each word in columns one to three. We'll read all the way across. Ah, er, ha, erd, hard, e, er, he, er, here, e, er, she, er, share, o, er, mo, er, more, er, er, were, er, were. We'll next read column three only. Try to keep that doubled sound, but let the vowels flow smoothly into the er. Imagine a double stair step that cannot be avoided. Don't make them two staccato sounds, though, like ha er Instead, follow them smoothly over the double stair step. Hard. Ready? Hard. Here. Share. More. Were. Of course, they're not that long. This is an exaggeration, and you're going to shorten them up once you get better at that sound. When you say the first one, hard, to get your jaw open for the ha, imagine that you're getting ready to bite into an apple. Ha. Then for the er sound, you'd bite into it. Hard. Hard. Pause the CD to practice five times on your own. Exercise 6-3. How to pronounce troublesome R's. The following seven R sounds, which are represented by the ten words, give people a lot of trouble, so we're going to work with them and make them easy for you. One, were. Two, word. Three, whirl. Four, world. Five, war. Six, whorl. Seven, where. The following words are typical in that they're spelled one way and pronounced in another way. The R combination frequently sounds like er as in embarrass. This sound is particularly clear on the west coast. On the east coast you may hear embarrass. Exercise 6-4, Spignev's Epsilon List. Repeat after me. Embarrass, vocabulary, parent, Parallel, paragraph, para, parrot, apparent, parish, Paris, area, aware, compare, imaginary, stationary, care, carry, carriage, marriage, maritime, barrier, baritone, barons, library, character, Karen, Harry, Mary, Larry, Sarah, narrate, guarantee, larynx, laryngitis, necessary, itinerary, said, says, transparency, dictionary, many, any. Exercise 6-5, R combinations. Don't think about spelling here. Just pronounce each column of words as the heading indicates. Earn, 
hurt, heard, pert, word, a word, work, first, firm, rather, murky, spur, sure, churn, gird, cur, turtle, dirt, stir, sir, burn, art, heart, hard, part, far, farm, cathartic, mar, spar, sharp, char, guard, car, tar, dark, star, sorry, barn, air, hair, haired, pear, wear, aware, wear, fair, fairy, there, mare, spare, share, chair, scared, care, tear, dare, stare, Sarah, bear, or, horse, hoard, poor, war, award, warm, for, form, thor, more, sport, shore, chore, gourd, core, tore, door, store, sore, born, ear, hear, hears, peer, weir, a weird, weird, fear, fierce, theory, mirror, spear, shear, cheer, geared, keer, tear, dear, steer, seer, beer, hour, hour, power, flower, eleventh hour, shower, chowder, gower, cower, tower, dower, sour, bower. Exercise 6-6, six, six, The Mirror Store. Repeat after me. The Hurly Burly Mirror Store at Vermont and Beverly featured hundreds of first-rate mirrors. There were several mirrors on the chest of drawers, and the largest one was turned toward the door in order to make the room look bigger. One of the girls who worked there was concerned that a bird might get hurt by hurtling into its own reflection. She learned by trial and error how to preserve both the mirrors and the birds. Her earnings were proportionately increased at the mirror store to reflect her contribution to the greater good. Pause the CD to practice reading out loud three times on your own. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go.